Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm starting the day today with, well, I've been on a nice dog walk this morning. Always good to just get on a dog walk. I feel like it's a great way to start your day. Um, we've had the joiner in to just really quickly, he just popped in to fit the, let me show you. Oh, hello, pitter patter. <laughs> He's just fit the doors back on the bookcase, ready for the painter to finish off. The um, locks he's added on as well, these like bolt locks they're called from Jim Lawrence are what we've got in the front room as well. I just really like them. So yeah, that is what we've gone for in here, four of those. He did say, have you got a fifth? And I said, why? Totally forgot. But we've got a little cupboard over there which houses the like manifold. So yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get the same on there or I don't know how easy it is to open it without something to grab hold of though mm, yeah we need some kind of handle on there i can just about get it open but um yeah this literally is just um it's got like a something to do with the electrician there and then you can just push off that back plate and it's got the manifold for all of the underfloor heating so that we can access that easily enough but yeah we need something on there I guess it would make sense to buy another one of those bolts so that it kind of ties in and fits. You can even barely see it with this black. But anyway, as you can tell, there's still quite a bit of painting to do. This the areas that they've like sanded down to get it prepped and ready for. I'm thinking a final coat of black. I don't know if they'll go in with two more coats or just the one, but it's fairly like opaque stuff. It's really good. It's from Lick in Black O2. I know it's been a while since I've updated you on the paint color of choice, but the white that we've gone for throughout is this one, Y07. But anyway, we, we've had like, we've had quite long delays actually with the painter. It's personal reasons, we don't quite know what's going on. He will obviously finish off at some point, it's just when, I don't know. So I don't really have any more of an update to share with you. The front door still needs to be painted, the staircase still needs to be painted once that's done. And also we're gonna repaint the corridor upstairs in that Y07 as well. Um, then we will replace this carpet with the roll that we've got. We've got a spare roll that we've had since we had the carpets done upstairs, which God, it feels like so long ago now. But anyway, I picked up the camera today. We've had a nice dog walk. Turn that light off, we don't need that on anymore. Had a nice dog walk this morning, got back, had some breakfast, joined a pop tin to do that. I have a therapy session in about 40 minutes, I wanna say. I always get a little bit like nervous before therapy, not like, is it nerves? I don't know, a bit like jittery. I feel like because therapy is one of those things that you're being very vulnerable, you're talking about like your feelings, your thoughts. I always feel so much better after a therapy session. It's kind of like a meditation or an exercise or something like that whereby afterwards I, I just literally feel like a new lease of life. I have switched it though to um, this is the first time I've had a three week break. I was every other week I was having a therapy session. Um, started every week when I first did it for several months and then I went to every two weeks. And then yeah, last session I thought, she asked me, what do you wanna focus on today? And I was like, sorry, clipping my clip. And I was like, I don't really know. <laughs> I feel a bit at a place whereby rather than therapy, it's more, like a life coaching session now where it's just talking about what's going on you know like everything that i need to know about overcoming anxiety and anxiety attacks panic attacks and stuff like that i kind of already know it's just about putting it into practice so it's more rather than like that talk side of things it's more talking about these sessions i talk about like my progression my growth where i want to go where i want to be anything that comes up maybe the in the gap from in between therapy sessions that I feel like I want to talk about like maybe I had a bit of a an episode where I felt particularly anxious or when I felt particularly good about something something that really helped me mentally 
and yeah so that's where i'm at got a therapy session in about half an hour i'm going to um pop to poundland today i do need to stock up on a couple of toiletry bits and i thought it's been a while since i've been into poundland so we'll go there and see if there's anything worthy of vlogging anything new in i also want to tackle the pantry i yesterday spent a lot of the day moving stuff around so i've got these boxes here are lights for the downstairs low the electrician's not going to come back until the paint is done because then he can do all the lights in that front black room as well as the downstairs loo here and any other bits that you need to do there's the porch light what else is there there's a couple of things um yeah so this pantry was very much full to the brim and i cleared it all out yesterday and this morning a little bit and so now i can take up this floor which is good there are just a couple of boxes that i've just moved so rather than sorting them out they probably need a bit there's a lot of like tom's stuff in them and or like gadgety bits that i don't know if we're keeping or not i don't know um so for now i'm just i've just moved them out so that i can take up this flooring i'm going to pop this ladder which i use to like reach the top cupboards i'll just pop it in the corner over there somewhere maybe i'll give you a little before of what our cupboards are currently looking like because essentially because this has all been full we've not been using these we've literally just been using these cupboards so they need a good sort out they are like full to the brim this one is our favorite cupboard the larger unit with all of the coffees and teas and bits and bobs and again it's all kind of very much at the minute just been shoved in here i don't know why tom's put our instruction manuals in here for the coffee machine because that ain't staying there but yeah at some point i will have a good sort through of all of these bits i've got all my seasonal mugs quite a collection going on up there some christmasy ones some autumn ones okay so that hello pumpkin one can you see in the top corner that's from next last year and i swear they have that exact range in tk maxx this year but like with bowls and plates and everything so if you like that I'll show you a bit closer it's got like a burnt orange kind of edge to it then yeah try your tk maxx because they have some anyway that's the larder unit this is all of our food bits that we've we've had basically since we've moved up here so we've just been living out of this cupboard as you can tell it's very messy it's very unorganized there's just it's just kind of all shoved in there so i need to have a good sort through of all the food bits anything that's out of date get rid of and then in here i think tom's just yeah tom's just put a couple of his protein bars in there but they can go in a food cupboard somewhere i got sent these actually maybe we'll try one at some point in this vlog milk tea mixology kit from bubble bubbleology <laughs> can't say that bubbleology um i think these are available in asda tara milk brown sugar milk so that's a milk tea mixology kit and then this one's a fruit tea one with passion fruit and raspberry tea nice air fryer toaster butter dish and then up here we've got again got just lots of like bits that have been stockpiling for the pantry but none of them have anything in them yet other than a couple of things up here got some labels i think i might even buy some more labels we'll see how i get on but got these ones from b and also got these ones from uh tk maxx up here we've got uh tom's recently just bought these so i've just shoved them in here for now some like pizza bits for the pizza oven outside some reed diffusers some baskets and again there's nothing really in any of them yet so they all need arranging got a couple of additional kind of like handheld mixers appliances in there got our new kitchen aid which we are yet to use brand new tom bought this I don't know where he bought it from actually can't remember what website he got it from i'll find it and then link it below but yeah kitchenaid and then in here i've just been using this cupboard because of the size of it for barney's food lead spare bowls and ball and everything like that for his walks we've also got this cupboard which again just has some spare baskets turntables plastic containers so yeah all ready to be filled and labeled up and then i don't think there is anything else really to update you on here if there is anything new that you want to know where it's from just pop it in the description box below not description box the uh, comment section and i will get back to you meanwhile this one's having a little snoozy aren't you oh am i waking you up you enjoying the fresh air tom has moved the gosney oven up here actually i think that's a fairly new thing 
Uh, it's not staying here, don't worry. It's a, I feel like it's a bit of a, if I stand back and show you, not an eyesore, because it's a gorgeous, like we love the Gosney, it's beautiful, even with the cover off, it's like a gorgeous cream color, beautiful. And it's been practical for us to be able to cook on up here, like with the kitchen literally being here. Um, but eventually that will, at some point when we redo the garden, it will go down in like the garden kitchen area, somewhere like that over there. That's where we get the most of the sun. So, gosh, Tom hacked all those nettles back. Must have been maybe two weeks ago. Look how much they're growing back already. Needs to get a strimmer back out on them. We were gonna weed killer it, but the people who we've been getting quotes from for doing like foundations and leveling it all off for an outdoor kitchen space down here have said just not to bother. They kind of come in and do it all themselves and do what they need to do. Uh, so we've just, yeah, kind of been leaving it, but grass needs cutting as well. That's a job for Tom, I feel like. Especially when I feel like I've got so much housey stuff to do, like still styling and organizing and bringing stuff up from the storage room, sorting that out. That's kind of been my focus as and when I get a moment to do it. But anyway, that's a very lengthy, chatty, catch-up-y type intro. That's what's going on for me today. I hope you enjoy spending the day with me whatever it is that we end up getting up to. However far we get with that, I'm clipping again. Sorry, that's probably really annoying. This is a prime up clip, I think. I like the fact that it's clear, but I'm literally just shove it on top of my head when it's warm. It just, mind you, I say it's warm. I'm in a hoodie today. It's really like, I can't figure out the weather, especially when I took Barney on a walk this morning. It was freezing and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to take a coat. And I thought, no. I'll get hot when I'm walking around, so I didn't. And was walking around sweltering. <laughs> it's that kind of like weather that feels like it should be cold, but you actually, by the time you get walking, it's not, but the sun's not out, so it's not hot enough for like a dress or anything. Anyway, I'm rambling. Make sure you're cozy, get set and ready with a nice drink, whatever it is, whether it's iced, whether it's warm and cozy, whatever it may be. And yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of this video today. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. Really random little Tesco food shop. I thought I would show you everything I picked up. We've got some people coming over tomorrow, so I'm gonna bake my Nana's Munch, which is what this is for. Got a couple of ingredients for that as well. Got some snacks, like arrival snacks, some crisps, and then these ones sound nice, Mediterranean herb flavor. Need some more jam. I've got myself this, I'm eating solo tonight, and I thought this sounded a bit of me. Goat's cheese and caramelized red onion ravioli. So that is my dinner for tonight. I got this, which I thought was quite fun, like in the coffee tea aisle, cinnamon sugar dusting, 
for like hot chocolates or whatever. Got some new Starbucks Nespresso capsules. These are the decaf ones. The family that we're having over, it's for a little birthday. So I just got some candles, some napkins. Oh, and I've put it away, but let me show you in here. I just picked up, as well as the munch that I'm gonna bake, just one of these like pretty standard birthday cakes. Um, Mary Berry one. I also got us some flowers. I got a mixture of the chrysanthemums and the carnations. They're actually nice and full, so they should look good. And then I just got some more baby's breath to just pop within them, because obviously the ones that we've currently got out there and over on the table there are just looking a little worse for wear. So I'm gonna fresh it out freshen it up with some new flowers. These are on sale, so I just picked them up. They are some of my favorite chocolate biscuits ever. I got this barista oat. This was like on, on, on like an Aldi price match. Um, I just wanted some oat milk, but the barista version, because I tried this regular oat milk in the milk frother and it just does not work. So yeah, hopefully that one will. And then I got some porridge oats for my Nana's munch recipe. I got some squirty cream. This is what made me purchase the squirty cream. I got this to try, I thought it looked really nice. It's in like the tea section. It's essentially like a cheap version of the lemon and ginger tonic, but it's got honey in it as well. It's a real fruit infusion. You just add it to hot water, makes 12 cups of tea. You can also add it to soda water if you want like a, uh, a colder version, uh, cold, yeah, like a cold version. And then I also got this, which I've just had a shot of. This one, the Organic Plenish. This was on offer as well. Four shots, ginger immunity. It's real spicy. I love that one. So I've popped that back in the fridge. I've got myself a new Colleen Hoover book. I've got Verity to read. And I'm also currently reading the... These are my two books that I've got on the go at the minute. I'm really enjoying reading. But yeah, it starts with us, which is the second book to it ends with us which i love got some tampons some desiccated coconut which also is for the recipe and then also just some more snacks for like arrival snacks pre-dinner snacks we're going to try and get the pizza from going if it's not too wet and windy but yeah roasted peanuts and cashews and that is everything oh i also got some diet coke so i'm going to pop them in the fridge downstairs and then lastly i did get this kind of like jumper. It is the softest jumper I have ever felt. I couldn't leave it. It did have some matching shorts, which I would have got, but they didn't have in my size. Um, this isn't in my size. It's a 20 to 22, but the other one they had was an eight to 10, I think, and it looked too small. I'm just, this is like a cozy day leggings, kind of like today really. But um, yeah, so I got that. I did get some more autumn bits from the range and Matalan and some B&M bits for storage for the pantry and for the fridge. Now I'm just going to get the flowers in the vase and then I'll show you everything else in a bit. even in focus there we go T today yesterday just got away with me i didn't end up getting half as much done as i was planning on doing so i thought i would pick up the camera again today oh, how pretty are my flowers love them um and yeah carry this vlog on and continue 
what it was that I set out to do start this video and that is to get a bit of organization done I've got Tom's family coming over tonight so I want to make sure that we I'm just looking at the ceiling because there's two big like flies in here problem with having the doors open. I want to make sure that the house is nice and tidy and we're prepped and ready for them to come. So I will crack on sorting out that um, pantry area and clearing that out. But first, I'm gonna head to Poundland and get the toiletry bits I need to get. Show you around what's there and then head on upstairs to show you those other bits I mentioned yesterday um, as well. So off to Poundland we go. Any people local to the Manchester area and are wondering, this is the Denton at uh, Poundland. They had some gorgeous things in, starting with that glassware, absolutely beautiful. Some gorgeous outdoor bits as well, cushions, lanterns. They have Sass and Bell. And honestly, guys, they had so much Sass and Bell products and they have some really beautiful things. So thought I would mention that because I had no idea that that was even a thing in Poundland. They've also got their own new range of crockery with the kind of like stone base, which I thought looked really expensive. Some fake kind of marble looking trinket dishes and trays. Loads of storage boxes, which is always a very, very handy. And then I had a quick look at the stationery section. Again, they had some beautiful things. I particularly loved this planner at three pounds. It's all kind of like divided into different sections. And if you're a planner and a jotter and a note taker, then you will appreciate this too. Lots of Disney bits as well. Then I headed on upstairs to this um, Poundlands Pep and Go. They've got massive clothing section on across the entire top floor so yeah that's why it's worth the trip if you're kind of in and around the local area if you wanted to have a good look through their clothing range then this is a pretty good pound line. some cute little ribbed pjs were in the sale i was very tempted to uh, pick those ones up i did leave them on this occasion though they also have quite a few like kind of dupe items i noticed a few like Hunza G dupes. I really loved this dress, just a very simple summery dress. And they have lots of like cohorts as well. They've been known to do skims dupes as well in the past. They've got this kind of ribbed seamless set, which reminds me of the Limitless Contour range that uh, Zara do with little crop tops, shorts, and also the leggings. They have also started getting in lots of kind of autumnal shades, knitwear, this kind of like crochet knit jumper I thought was really nice as a transitional piece. Their denim section was lovely, I particularly liked these two kind of denim jackets that they had. They were £20 each and I couldn't decide which I preferred. Which do you prefer, the cream or the khaki? I like both personally. Then I really liked this kind of lemon coloured dress, a little bit different for me but it's, I don't know, just quite cute and girly and had this have been in a different color this linen short and shirt set i would have definitely picked that up again kind of designer dupes with this whole crochet trend going on they had this very simple crochet dress which again if you've got any beach holidays but um or summer holidays still in the pipeline then i think that was lovely as well as this little sage number this little frilly bottomed hemmed edged dress <laughs> Um, a gorgeous jumper for autumn, not the softest, and that's the only reason why I didn't pick it up. But um, yeah, also quickly checked out the accessory section for the shoes, loved those kind of raffia sandals, and they also had straw bags, and yeah, quite the selection. I am back home and I've brought the things upstairs to show you what I got but also I've just received this in the post which is so cute, let me show you. What my intention is with this, it's from a small business on Etsy which has some gorgeous stationery bits if you're a stationery lover, it's Plan and Stow and they basically have these little like page markers which I got, I think I mentioned it in my last vlog or did I mention it in this one? can't remember honestly when you're vlogging all the days kind of you forget what you've said where and anyway i got these page markers in this nude color for our cookbooks because tom and i were looking through them and like finding loads of recipes that we love and he said we need some kind of page markers and I said just turn the page he's like oh, don't like doing that and I kind of get what he means so I thought well I'll pick up a couple of packets of these you get 30 in a packet and I got two of um two of those and yeah so like if you're a stationary fan have a look on their 
Etsy shop, their page, because they have some beautiful bits for like bullet journaling and scrapbooking, note taking. Ooh. I see you. Oh my God, I don't, oh, do you know what that reminds me of when I say I see you? Oh, that's not, he's taken the, uh, the uh, wrapper for my Etsy parcel. Can mummy have it? Thank you. Thank you. I just scared the living daylights out of me. The painters and decorators just turned up and he like was shat, like I could hear someone talking downstairs. So I was like, who's in our house? It's just the painters. Cause they don't knock, they've got keys. And he went mental. And I was like, who's in the house? Anyway, um, yeah, I was saying when I say, I see you. <laughs> it reminds me of Avatar, the way of water, which is on Disney plus. If you haven't seen it already, it's been on a while, but we watched it the other day and it's so good. I think it's my favourite of the two films. What are you doing chasing your tail? Oh. You're in the way. Why do dogs not like it when you blow them? No, not having it. Right, you sit down then whilst I show everyone what I've been buying. Okie dokie. Karaoke. Quick thumbnail. I went to the range and they have had a second round of autumn deliveries, which is just absolutely spoiling us, but also way too early. I feel like I'll save the autumn bits for those of you that got offended last time I did the autumn haul. Um, so I will share them with you, but at the end of this part of this segment. So let me just show you the other bits first. So b and Got a couple of these four pound chrome toilet brush holders, one for in our spare bathroom and one for in our downstairs loo. Because we do have antique brass in there, but we also have chrome like on the toilet and the sink. And then I've got some storage boxes as well from B&M. Just a couple of these ones with handles, which you can pull out from the fridge. Three pound 50 each for those ones. They did actually come with a silicone grip. Some of them had them on, some didn't, but I actually prefer the look without it, so I just grabbed the two that didn't have the handles on. And then I got two with, um, these ones are also £3.50. These ones just have like a handle on either side and you can also stack them. You are inquisitive this morning, sir. And then lastly, I just got one of these larger ones at £5. So I thought, now that I've got a mixture of sizes, I can have a play around and see how many more I might need for organising our fridge, which is, I feel like a task for another day at this point. So that's everything I got from B&M. Now land, got a couple of wrapping paper bits. So yeah, we've got, oh, <laughs> Tom's family coming out. It's his mum's birthday today. So we have a couple of bits to wrap and pop out. So I've got these, um, just generic. This one's a white with silver celebrate with little stars on. And then this one is like a brown paper one with gold and white hearts. So that is not a toy for you. Thank you. I'm gonna test the waters with this oven glove. Cause the one that we had, which is like a double oven glove, sorry about it. Um, Tom didn't like, he said he could feel the heat. And this one has like a silicone pad. So I thought I would get one for now at four pounds um, and see how I get on with it. It's part of this, it's called Country Club Range. But yeah, see how we get on with it. It's in like a gorgeous sage, olivey green color that goes with our kitchen well. And if it works and if it's okay, then I'll probably go and get a second one. Cause I feel like you need two, don't you? And then, oh, they have. 19 crimes in Poundland, who knew? I think it was about seven pounds, which is pretty standard price point for, well actually no, the Chardonnay, which is what this one is, even though I don't drink white wine, Tom loves their Chardonnay. It's, um, that one usually is about, I think nine or 10 pounds. I've got one of these uh, water glass bottles, which I thought would be good for ginger and lemon tonic, because it's got a, airtight seal on or even just for popping some water in um for like on the table for everyone to like help themselves to when hosting some batteries also got some makeup brushes i felt felt like i was in need of a couple more eye brushes i always end up using the same one and i feel like i could do with a bit of a 
variety, a bit of variation. And these are duping the number seven ones, I guess number six. I've got this just because for a little bit of touch-ups that we might need to do for painting and this one is um, a four piece set. I think they're only about pound 50, so really good. Paracetamol, my fave purple shampoo, at least budget friendly one anyway. I also got a couple of summery kind of Zaflora scents and I got the cucumber and mint, which is a favorite to use in the kitchen. And then the cypress and sea sage is also really nice as well. Another little mini roller set. These, which I've already tucked into, Fox's Crunch Creams. I love these biscuits, but these ones are new. They're really crunchy and they are very vanilla. They taste good to me. I saw these and thought I would pick some up for, I mean, last time I went away, I was in need of these and didn't have any. So I'm just gonna pop them in these drawers, which is like my, it's like my spare beauty excess stock, these drawers. Then they've got this new dog range, pet range. Yeah, well, yeah, I say dog, pet range by Jess Wright. So she's got some really like neutral aesthetic bits, stuff small enough for kittens as well, or small dogs. <laughs> Do you know this is for you? And I've got him this one, which says Puppuccino on it. Puppuccino. It does have a squeaker in. I won't squeak it for those of you that have dogs, but woo! I'm entertained for whilst I film this video. And then I also have these, which I picked up. So these are like beauty products for your pets. We've got a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, and it's called, or it's vanilla fragrance. And then they had a couple of different like puppy perfumes spritzes that you can pop on like after they've had a bath just to give them that extra nice smell she had like a floral one i think it was called white blossoms maybe and this one which i preferred this one is in white cedar and bergamot they were sort of like two pounds each something like that and again who knew that poundland do collection makeup so i love the lasting perfection concealer from collection but they've got this new one which is hydrating so it's got serum in it so we'll give it a go we'll see how it compares and then i picked up this randomly now this one's 15 pounds so kind of pricey for poundland but it is a techie gadget are we going to be squeaking the whole way through they had two they had a larger one that looked like an apple watch and then they had this one now i am getting this purely as it says a fitness tracker and just to have basically as and when i'm out and about on a little jog that i like to do with barney i have my like a waistband on with my phone in and i always set a strava on so that i can see how far i've done and what time but i can't really check my progress whilst i'm on the run so i was after something to be able to pop on my wrist to be able to um check in on that and it does do it's got a 24 hour and a 12 hour clock your calories burn, a step counter, distance covered, a sleep mode, heart rate reader, a blood pressure and blood oxygen reader for estimated readings, it says. I feel like it spurs you on. If, you, if you're close to a milestone and you're like 60 seconds left, you think, right, I'll push and get it under that 60 seconds. Whereas when it's in your pouch and I can't get it out, I can't tell and I can't push myself. I got myself this to-do list. They had two different designs, this one and then a black one with silver writing. Just very simple and I like the uh, structure of the page. So it just has a things to do today, a day and date you can pop on there and priority and then a little tick box once you've done it too. Again for this evening I just got a couple of birthday bits for the cake. Little happy birthday cake topper or candles as well i've got in fact i got some candles from did i get some candles from tesco's i think i did didn't i oh well and then not for tom's mum my door's just opened it's the breeze we're gonna say it's the breeze do, 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 do. not for tom's mum but just as a generic uh birthday bag and some gold tissue wrapping paper i got and is that everything from that's everything from Pamela. and barney you stay here with me good boy you stay in here puppy you don't get in the painter's way you want some wine blowing his nose okay so that's my little poundland haul now for some autumn goodness so feel free to skip this 
little segment if you don't like autumn or if it's too early for you but um yeah i just have to share with you because i feel like the good stuff is gonna go and this is some real good stuff this is kind of generic i suppose not necessarily autumn related but it is with the new in autumn as a little display board really rustic gorgeous colors each one was like individual and unique and they come with a little stand so like it's like a footed board that you could use as a server platter, you could use as a decorative thing with some pumpkins on. That was $9.99. And then I got this slate pumpkin serving platter for $5.99. Again, for a little cheese board or something could be nice. And then this was my favorite find. I think it was £13, £13.99, £12.99, I can't remember, but it is a pumpkin glass kind of lidded jar. Gorgeous. I've got the Christmas tree version from the range and I just thought it'd be really nice to have a little pumpkin one. Just sat on the island or on the table or something with some yummy treats in. Maybe even some like fairy lights or something. I feel like I need to shut that door. They're being loud. So yeah, they're the couple of bits that I got from the range. And then I'll show you these bits from Matalan as well. Look how gorgeous this like wispy fern spray is. Is it fern or am I just, it's not fern is it? Some kind of spray. This is three stems but look how bushy that is. I'm planning on just having this in a vase maybe on the island um, at autumn time I'm going to say. Obviously you could just have this out whenever but I just feel like the colours of it just will be perfect for autumn and I think quite a statement to have that in a vase on the island. I mean I have bent them but they can go quite long so we could go do it quite like wide and wispy. Cannot wait. Okay, so you may have seen from my last autumn haul that I did, I got the tea towels for this um, matching oven glove that they now do as well at six pounds. And it's just perfect. It's beige stone kind of color, little cream pumpkins. I mean, if you could ask me to design an ideal neutral autumn themed oven glove and tea towel it would probably be this just simple in my colors love it and then i also stocked up on some more tea towels in this um like waffle fabric we've got these already in the sage green and they're probably one of my favorite tea towels so it's six pound fifty for two and i've got the beige color they're pretty much the exact same color as this so as much as i love the sage green ones i've now got the option to have the beige ones out as well if i prefer okay that's everything i got little speedy haul there not too long and lengthy i'm gonna sort out the birthday bits now downstairs i think and maybe do baking i'm undecided whether or not to do baking because there's not that many of us i feel like because we've already got a cake that should be enough need to crack on with getting some stuff done and i'll also do a bit of a time lapse for you for what i get up to with the pantry for this rest of this afternoon as well is he off he's off we got a delivery we've got two actually we've got this one pop it there and this one as well i feel like i'm working with next soon so it might be something to do with that i think they might i'm going to an event with them i guess i'm allowed to say it now because it'll be open by the time you're watching this video will it no it won't i'm sure they won't mind me saying there's a new bath and body works opening in the traffic center and it's the first ever standalone i think it's the first ever standalone shop in the uk because next to the exclusive stockists for bath and body works if you want to shop online you shop via next as a fellow person who's lived in america and loved bath and body works actual stores to have it come into the uk is very exciting and it's the first one and we've got it in traffic center in manchester so anyway that is something that i'm working with them on over on instagram ow crikey are we good I don't know what else to do that, like squeeze it. Is it bleeding? No, I think we're good. Oh, I hate blood. I'm not a fan of blood. That is, I'd say, one fear of mine, like a big fear. I wonder if I fear blood over sick, or it's probably equal. Honestly, even talking about, even just saying those two words makes me swear. Anyone else? Ugh. horrendous yeah watch it not be anything to do with next oh yeah nothing to do with next this is from lancome lash bar 
Oh, why does this excite me? Too much, too much, too much. I love a PR package that has everything line, lined out like that. It's the aesthetics of it, just, it pleases me greatly. Okay, so what do we have? Is it step one, revitalize your lashes. So here we've got a lash serum and super enhancing mascara base. I think I'm gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna try all of these out and I'll probably update you in a monthly favorites section. This is a classic, Lashy Doll. Love that already. This is, the Lancome Hypnose Mascara is one of those mascaras that if anyone ever asks me for a mascara recommendation, I just say Hypnos. It's such an old classic that before I ever even did YouTube, it's one that I always bought and I just love it. So Lancome Hypnose, they've got the Hypnose Drama as well in here. This one I've not tried, Monsieur Big. Is that anything to do with Sex and the City, I wonder? Monsieur Big. Anyway, and then complete your eye look with a five color eyeshadow palette and a liner. I probably won't use the liner because I never wear eyeliner. Beautiful shades there. Very shimmery, that middle one. I feel like I'm going to enjoy that a lot. So yeah, thank you to Lancome for sending that. Excited to give those, especially the kind of lash serum and primer. Excited to give those a try. And then let's get this box open. Maybe this is to do with next. We got a hamper. I feel like the colours that I'm seeing, I feel like it could be Bath and Body Works. It's Bath and Body Works. Oh! My God, look at this. It's a full on picnic hamper. Oh, I love it. Gorgeous. Um, okay, so in terms of Bath and Body Works bits that I've got in here, the Gingham Vibrant by Bath and Body Works Eau de Parfum. Should we give it a little sniff? Oh. I feel like Bath and Body Works have their own smell. Like that to me, is so reminiscent of living in America. Unreal. There's even a little picnic blanket in here with some glasses. So this is the invite to the event. So if this is just the invite, I'm very excited as to see what's to come. They've got several different versions of the gingham scent. Oh, hence the gingham picnic blanket. Got it. Okay, so we've also got in this um, one, the shower gel and what's this? A fine fragrance mist. I don't know what that one's called. Maybe that one's just gingham. Yeah, just the original gingham. Then the gingham fresh scent. They have sent a daily nourishing moisturizer, body lotion, and then a larger fine fragrance mist. And also one of the shower gels. I love their shower gels. They're proper like, you can lather them up really nice and they smell really strong. And then a candle from Bath & Body Works, which I feel like for me, hand gel and the candles are the things that I love buying most from Bath & Body Works. So this one is in Rose Water and Ivy. Soft Rose Petals English Ivy Lemon Blossom. Mmm, thank you so much to Bath & Body Works for this. Stay tuned for what I get up to at the event next week. Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I want to make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand yeah we only give one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand i see the problem letting a cupboard get that jam-packed is that I didn't know half the stuff that I had at the back and there was definitely 
some green things in there that are now in the bin. Um, but I've just emptied out that bottom cupboard basically for now and discovered these three boxes of tea which I've got in there. I love the pucker ones because they're individually like wrapped. So what I've done, I'm just kind of like starting the organization within the larger unit, the coffee, coffee station as I like to call it, is bought one of these from HomeSense and organized all the teas in here. So as you can tell, this one's already full. So what I think I'm gonna do is head to TK Maxx at some point and try and find, oh, these ones are Harrods ones. But yeah, any tea bags that are individually wrapped like that, it's quite nice to be able to just see them written on there, Earl Grey. These ones are my fave. Well, one of my faves. The Radiance ones, because they've got nettle in and I just really like the flavor of it. This one's nice as well, vanilla chai. Anyway, so that's how it's currently looking. So I need another one or two of these caddy storage things that hopefully I'm gonna find the exact same ones because that would be ideal. Yeah. Maybe like have one there and three of them all lined up. So anyway, for now I'm just gonna keep until I find another one or two of those from Home Sense or TK Max. I'm just gonna keep these boxed up. What have we even got? Three ginger, three cinnamon and then is this a sleep one? Yeah, night time. So I'll pop those up here for now. Any other like tea bits or anything that I come across as well? Teas or coffee related things like these. Hot drinks, Horlicks. I'm just gonna pop in here for now. Not organized because that can be an organization for another day, but just at least they're in their correct homes. Um, but yeah, I'm actually realizing time is fast going today and Considering I still got a bit more cleaning to do and sorting out, I need to like go get some, uh, just a couple of other little bits for Tom's mum and then wrap them up, sort out stuff for them arriving in a couple of hours. I'm not really gonna have enough time to like properly organize this. So for now, I've just kind of cleared it out, got rid of everything I need to get rid of and then I'm just gonna, any like tease bits, pop them away in there and then any other, Honestly guys, I feel like I haven't got enough time today to do this. This is one of those tests that when you start it and you think, oh, well, what have I done? <laughs> I haven't got time for this. So what I think I'm gonna do is pick up the camera again tomorrow and pick this up in next, in my next vlog, or next couple of vlogs maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna close off the vlog here today. I feel like it's a bit of an anticlimax because I've not actually sorted through the pantry. I have booked to get um, to have a cleaning company come and give us a quote because I think it's an area that I could do with some help in, I'm not gonna lie. I don't dislike cleaning, but it's just honestly the amount of time it takes. First of all problems I know, but this is a big house to clean, over four floors, it's quite a lot to do every week because I've come to the realization Tom is just not gonna help me, so it's not two hands cleaning this house, it's one set of hands. So I feel like maybe fortnightly, at least an initial full house clean. I'm talking basement, skirting boards, utility dog wash, Tom's floor, his bathroom, the eaves storage, throughout all of downstairs as well, and like the bedrooms, carpet cleaning, windows cleaning, these big doors need a clean. None of that's really been thoroughly done since we've like finished the renovations, so it'll be nice to maybe have a company come in and just blitz the house and then maybe come every couple of weeks. That's what I'm thinking anyway, I'll see what the quote is, but just every couple of weeks, I feel like in between that, I can easily keep on top of it. Like wiping down these surfaces every day after cooking is easy enough, and actually I enjoy it. Hoovering up after, after the dog every day, that's all stuff that I can keep on top of, on top of really easily. <coughs> Hoovering upstairs, quick wipe down of the bathroom, but thorough deep cleans every couple of weeks, yeah. I think I'm going to open my arms to receiving some help. <sighs> Cause honestly, I am one of these people that my environment affects my mood and especially working from home. If I work from home, especially like for instance, working in here at the bar or something, if there's still pots out, I can't, there's no chance I'm starting work until the pots are away, until the dishwasher's unloaded until 
Barney's toys are put away. Like everything needs to be in order before my mind rests. And don't get me wrong, a little bit of clutter here and there, like if Tom's working from home one day of the week, I just let it go. But I am very environmentally triggered and working from home doesn't help if the house is a mess. So yeah, so the cleaners that come in today are just gonna have a quick look around and give me a quote. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to have some cleaners in soon. Um, but yeah, for now I'm gonna close off this vlog here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'm back with my clip. <laughs> and I will pick you guys back up again probably tomorrow, which will probably be in the next vlog or two, to carry on what I started, really. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.